Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating another custom control. And this time, uh, we're going to create password toggle. So you must have seen this uh, on like several labs where you see a uh, I, an I kind of symbol uh, next to or basically on your password text field. And when you tap on that, you can see and read your password in clear text versus like having it represented as dots. Okay, so we can create a control out of that uh, for that functionality. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that in SwiftUI. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna create another struct. I'm gonna call this one um, password toggle. Okay, because I already called password toggle field this one. So uh, I'm gonna create that and uh, gonna extend our view protocol. So we're going to create some uh, state variables. Uh, so state private var password hidden to check if the password is hidden. Initially, we're going to say true. We're going to create another state password icon. Okay, and we're going to say i dot slash. This is actually, once again, coming from uh, SS symbols. Okay, gonna create a private var, password, to keep password to create a private var for placeholder. All right. And now we're gonna end it. We're gonna take placeholder, placeholder, and text for the binding as our initializer value. And we're gonna simply say All right, this way we get our hold of our text as well as our placeholder. And then we override our body property, create our Z stack. If password is hidden, we want to uh, show we want to show secure text field or secure field with placeholder and text as password. Okay, but if it's uh, not hidden, that means the user has pressed that I button. In that case, we're going to simply replace it with text field, and we're going to show text field with placeholder and text as password, like that. You can now disable the auto capitalization. All right. And then uh, we're going to have our button. So that's going to be the, it's going to be the first layer of the stack and button is going to be the second layer that user can, can tap upon. And button section is simply going to say password hidden dot toggle. And if self dot password hidden, then self dot password icon is equal to i dot slash else self dot password icon is equal to i like so, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna show an image as the content for the button with system name, self.password icon with padding as 10 points all around. Okay, and now we can actually use our password toggle. So password toggle with placeholder, And uh, binding string, so let's create a binding string. Let's 
There you go. Can I do a text field style rounded text field style? There's some padding into it. All right, let's go ahead and resume and we should have our password toggle. All right, so let's try it again. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, function declares opaque return type. There's no return type. Okay, so let's go ahead and build it. If the padding is unused, well, that was okay. That was a miss on my part. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and run this. And this is our text field, and uh, we can say password or however, whatever I've typed. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, we can see the password. You can actually append upon it. And you can disable to show, like, you know, that you don't have the password. Um, you can't see the password. <laughs> okay. So once again, password, you can type in plain text. You can basically disable it. So it hides it, basically showing a secure text field with the password, or it can reveal the password, what you have typed. All right. So this was another example of uh, custom controls, like, you know, how you can uh, create standard controls and libraries of standard controls. Uh, I showed you, like, you know, various different ways. Uh, just choose which one you want and uh, just go with it. Okay. So that was the example on uh, creating another uh, custom control in SwiftUI. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.